All right, morning or whatever time of day it is for you guys. Um, so it's been a few days since I posted. Um, the retirement of medic was uh, it's out there. It's wild. Um, he deserves it. All the power to the man that he can just choose to stop doing it. Uh, 43, 44 years old. He just turned 44 a couple days ago. Um, good on you, man. I'm happy for you. When I gave him a call there, it was pretty funny. I called him up and he answered the phone. Hello. I'm like, hello, is this Mr. Freeman? Because <laughs> he's actually, he's a free dude now. He's pretty happy about it. No schedule. No nothing. Just got to hang out with the family. So he's pretty happy actually right now, guys. And all the stuff is on, or not all the stuff, but he's starting to put a bunch of stuff on eBay. I went and looked at it yesterday. I think he's got about a good half dozen at least up there or eight or nine, something like that. Um, that and that was yesterday. He could have put up more last night or uh, this morning. Um... Yeah, so that's about it for that. Um, he's doing good. That's that's uh, that's about all I can tell you. Is, is he's doing good. He's happy. <clears throat> all right. As for me, mini Molly, uh, big Molly. I got all the micros and uh, other scale. This is a one ten scale. I forget. I think these are one sixteenth, one sixteenth, twenty four, twenty four, twenty four. I think. Pretty sure. Now, they're kind of in order of money right now. Um. The reason I got them all out, I got I got them all out for different reasons. Hi, Molly. I'll turn this way. Excuse me there. So I got the uh, the Toyota Mini Z. This comes in at just under three bills. This is kind of like your almost scale equivalent to uh, Trailfinder Two. If uh, if the RC Four Wheel Drive decided to redo, because they do have a Galande One Sixteenth or One Eighteenth or something like that, and I don't think they put a hundred percent of themselves into it. If they wanted to, they could come out with something that could be just as good, if not better, than the Kyosho. And some guys complain about the batteries. One guy temp said the other day, double A crap. <clears throat> At first, I thought he was giving it a rating, and then I'm like, oh, he's thinking about the batteries. I didn't respond to him, but my curiosity is to people, they're actually triple A for one, because I was going to correct them, and I'm like, ah, fuck it. They're, well, I guess I just did. But uh, <clears throat> the uh, it's not a bad setup. If you don't own one, I suggest that you kind of get one or try one at least before you knock it because it is a great system i think i'm only on my third set of batteries maybe only my second set still you get hours of runtime and i've ran that thing on river trail east here in calgary where you've seen my last couple snow videos the kyosho mini z has done that whole trail on four triple a batteries and then i ran it here a few times i ran it out of medics a few times i just poked molly molly in the eye i'm so sorry <laughs> <clears throat> um but they're a great little truck i highly recommend them and then, but that's the most expensive one, I believe, that's on the table here. She comes in at just under three bills. These are both just under 200. Now, this is local here in Calgary, right? So you have to check out your local supplier or Banggood or Amazon or whoever you deal with online for ordering stuff. Or, or eBay, I guess. Um, the Panda Hobbies. I don't know how much it is, but it was a gift from Medic. I'm pretty sure she's in the low 100s or one and a half. That's just a guess. Maybe I should have looked that up before I did this. Okay, stop it. Get out of here. Sniffer. Get. And then the old, uh, oh, I got the Losi Trekker here as well. I forget what they were new. I think they're about 150 bucks new, but this is over 10 years old now. So, but if you go online to like Kijiji or someplace where you can buy used RCs, uh, maybe a Facebook thing near where you are, um, you should be able to find these for about 100 bucks. And they're a good truck. And then I got this guy from Banggood. That is your uh, D12, I think they call it. <clears throat> D12 military truck, but it's a mini truck. Two wheel drive, and I do have to apologize. I was on a, a Zoom the other day for my first time with a couple of RC guys. <clears throat> and they were telling me about this button on the remote. And I, I tried it before and I felt it didn't do anything, but I think the battery might have been dead when I tried it because, uh, give me a quick second here. I got a couple of batteries that are good. There's a weird little setup. You just twist the, tire, the spare tire and that section opens there. I got Deans, I took it apart and I soldered up some Deans onto it, so it's good to go. So it'll take a two cell. But I got three of these little Lion batteries, and I think they're good enough for this thing because <clears throat> I'm not towing anything or hauling anything with it. I'm just ripping around on the floor. It seems just fine. Do -do 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 -do. Remote on that thing. So, and then. Click the button. Click it again. So it is a two-speed thing. I'm sorry, I got it wrong before. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
And then also it works on the steering too. So this is maximum steering. But as fast as I can make it. Oh, it's the limiter. Okay, so it's not a speed thing. I thought it was a speed thing on the steering as well. It's not. It looks like it's uh, how wide you can steer that sucker. Hmm. Cool little trucks. <laughs> Those are like 80 bucks <clears throat> or 80 some dollars, just under 100 bucks delivered <clears throat> here in the old mighty Canada. Eh? And yes, I've looked at the uh, Trailer Park Boys truck, totally doable. Um, I do have some popsicle sticks. I don't know how I would mount them yet to the truck. Probably glue on some little brackets or something like that. And then I have to find some paint, disassemble it, paint it. But I think it's doable. Thanks for the idea, guys. That's something cool I can do. I just don't have any paint or... Yeah, just don't have any paint right now. Now, the other reason all the micros are out, I was gonna... I, these are what I think they're in order of cost. Yes, I do believe this guy's gonna be cheaper than finding an old trucker, but I could be wrong. Um... The, uh, the other thing, how much, well, guys are asking me which one would I choose, and it's really tough. That's, that's why I'm doing this. It's been one of the most popular questions as of late on the old YouTube channel, uh, next to questions about Medic, of course. Um, which one would I choose about all of these? Like, if you go this way, that way. <laughs> Let me get rid of this guy. It's like which one is best ah. because if you're looking at them the cool factor are these three like in my personal opinion right between the trekker the panda the axio the fms rock hobby and the mini z these three are all cool as hell i love them. um the only one that comes with oil shocks is this guy the suspension on the panda and the motor are the biggest and baddest like the only knock I got on the Panda is that front diff. It's got terrible clearance and itty bitty tires. Like the stock tire is pretty close to the same size as the stock SEX 24 tire. They're pretty, they're pretty close to the same, right? It's just when it comes to the bodies, this is way wider and heavier. It's tough to choose. <clears throat> and what you got to do is, uh, what I recommended to a guy the other day was, uh, where are you going to drive it and how are you going to drive it? Like, are you indoor only? You're going to take it outside as well? You're going to throw it in the backpack and take it down the trail and go play somewhere else? You're going to put it on the back of an RC and take it somewhere? Or are you just going to hang out in your house or whatever? If you're just <clears throat> if you're just inside, I would say these three are your best choices. Now, remember, I haven't owned and driven everything either. There's all kinds of cool stuff that are found on uh, both Banggood and Amazon again. <clears throat> or you can order them from your local supplier. But there's other things out there like the Barrage and other trucks. I can only go by what other people say. And the Barrage is not great. Apparently it's got a really good motor in it and suspension isn't terrible, but that's apparently where it ends and the tires aren't bad. There's good things to say about every RC, but when you compare it to the others, these guys are a step above from what I've been told. Again, I haven't owned one, so I don't know for sure. Then there's that little one that I can always, never remember the name of it that Medic got. He got it off, I think it was an Am Amazon thing. Um, it's a Suzuki, the Brat? I think that's right. But it was cheap, uh, inexpensive as well, <laughs> under a hundred bucks. That's what's great about uh, guys like the Panda. Oh, and I got an upgrade. Um, so that's straight from Panda Hobbies. Steering knuckles and ball bearings. <clears throat> so it came with this brass set of knuckles for this guy. And it also came with all the hardware and four new bearings, which is very cool. Cause I think this might be a bushing. I'll find out later because I'm going to change those out in a little bit here. So yeah, if you're going to, when you go to do the, uh, or if you're going to get into it and you haven't purchased one yet, there's nothing wrong with used. I'll start there. But if you're going to get a new one and it's bang for your buck, uh, it's a really tough choice. I thought I had this down because I was going to say, go with the S, like if you're going to go in competition with your friends, the SEX24 is the way to go. There's a, uh, very well supported aftermarket. It's a great truck out of the box. There's very little you got to do, but it's the same price as the Atlas 6x6. That It's really loud uh, when you first get it out of the box. This is something you have to upgrade, and so is the Tetra, because if you're going to drive the Panda, 
it's a race truck out of the box. There's no drag brake on that ESC and it just wants to go. Um, so I had to change out to a brushed ESC. Well, of course it'd be brushed, but I had to change out to an ESC that has a drag brake on it. And same thing with this guy. I think I got a hobby wing in here and a old Tekken FXR in there. Just so I have brush control. This thing's super silent. It had to get a ton of upgrade, or not a ton of upgrades, but I done I had to do a fair amount to get it half ass capable because even though they are beadlock tires that come on it, they're not great. And uh, somebody did ask me before how my drive shafts were doing on here. And the middle one is a little twisty, but it still flexes just fine and it's doing its motion all good. So yeah, it's uh, starting to go, but it's fine. <laughs> I had to change the suspension, cut the tires, add weights to the wheels. I think I did a bumper mod on this one, or maybe not. No, I don't think I did. I removed the toolbox. I removed the uh, spare tire. I forget everything else that I did. But it, uh, ooh, there's a battery in there. <laughs> <clears throat> but it took a, a lot to get it to be able to compete with this. So if it's out of the box and you don't want to do any upgrades, it's probably going to be these two off the hop. The Kyosho Mini Z and the SCX24 are probably the best out of the box without upgrades. If you go with either the Atlas or the or the Panda, you're gonna have to upgrade them, like especially if you're gonna crawl because this will do outdoors pretty good. You can almost trail run this thing, and I think I'm probably gonna try it once the weather gets nicer because there's still a couple feet of snow here. And it's gonna take a while before I get it out. I feel like this video is huge already. <laughs> um, I've done a lot to this thing. It used to have a light bar on it. I removed this. Spare tire carrier. I don't think it had a spare tire, just the carrier. I got rid of that. Um, I believe there was a bumper mod on this one as well. Um, da -da 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 -da. Servo still stock. ESC has been changed. It's got an actual receiver in it. Oil filled shocks. Nice off the hop. But yeah, you gotta you gotta change the ESC on both of these to make them better out of the box. But it's tough. If you're indoor outdoor. I'm um, Panda, maybe even Atlas. Atlas is slow. Panda's got some speed, so that's nice when you're outside. But if you're indoor only, and cost is a thing, the SCX24 is probably your best bet. Man, that is a tough choice, isn't it? Hmm. All right, I think that I'm going to call it at that. I've rambled on for long enough. You guys are probably getting bored of me. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to take a, do a quick little run on the rocks here now. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the, the brass knuckles on this guy and see if it makes a difference. Other than that, well, you guys have yourself a good day. Thanks for watching.